Hey guys, how's it going? Trevor Patterson, glad to be back with y'all again today. Bringing our first video from the 2019 turkey season, and it's been a good one so far. It's not even over yet, and uh, probably one for the books. So, uh, going to start right out with the opening weekend. We knew where a few birds were going into season, and thought we had two birds roosted for Saturday morning. So Chris and I, we get out and put a jake and a hen decoy out, and uh, think we can get these birds in the range. And man, these birds were gobbling their heads off Saturday morning. So we did end up hearing two birds this morning, had one across the street from us and one was roosted behind us about 80 yards. This one behind us flew down to about 20 yards in the woods behind us and we just knew it was a matter of time before he came out in this field in front of us.
So finally, the bird made his way out to the field, and he didn't pay our decoys any attention. Uh, you know, we put the Jake in the hen out thinking we have two birds on us, and thinking that would help get them in, but I don't think that Jake uh, helped us out any at all with this particular bird. So once he got a ways out, I did some soft calling, but he'd already decided by that point he was on to his next stop. So we let him get out of the field, and we were on to try something else. I think he was going to the town without even calling. Yep. So I figured I'd call him a little bit and just see. Maybe he didn't see him. But... <laughs> he had to see him. Huh? He had to see him. I know. That's what I was thinking. I don't think there's no way he could not see him. That's what I was thinking. I thought, as soon as he come out, I said, yep, he's coming right over here. That's what I thought. <laughs> I did too. You got all the food. Yeah. Could you hear him back here drumming? Huh? Could you hear him back here drumming? Yeah. I didn't even have to hear him gobble. I was just listening to him drum. Yeah, I know. I kept hearing him. I said, he's going to come out. I kept saying, I said, he's going to come out down there where he's always uh, left, like you said, the dominant bird is over there. He's going to want to walk out of him. I think so, too. He's still gobbling. So after leaving the first spot, we were to spot a tom and a hen out in the field. And I uh, didn't know how good a chance that we were going to be knowing he had a hen with him. We decided to make it move anyway. We worked around to the back side of the field he was in, decided to sit up, and all I had to do was let out one call. He answered me, and it didn't take long for that hen to start cutting up and start heading our way. She didn't, uh, she didn't exactly read the script. She came in the woods the way we expected, and he worked down the edge of the field and didn't quite give us a shot. They ended up working off after that, and that brought, a, that brought our opening morning hunt to a close. So the final hunt opening the weekend is a solo afternoon hunt I went on. My dad and I saw the two toms out strutting in the back of a field. So I rushed back home and get all my camouflage on and my camera gear and stuff. And in my rush, I decided to leave the decoy at home, which was probably my worst mistake I could have made for this particular hunt. But uh, I get back, my dad drops me off. He has somewhere he has to be. So I work to the back side of this field so I can be back at the back with these birds, but on the opposite side. Hopefully I'm close enough where they'll be able to hear me in this wind and uh, hopefully they'll come check me out. So I find a good spot to set up and just wait for this wind to die down so I can call. Well, the wind finally dies down and I decide to call. I get pretty excited on the call and these birds answer me right back. And man, if they haven't moved all the way to the front side of this field away from me. So I just put the call down for a few minutes. I said, I'll give it a few minutes and see what happens. And it didn't take long for them to, to go on their own. And they've actually closed some distance. So I go quiet on these birds and they, they just keep gobbling, working down the opposite side of the field from me. And they get about directly across the field from me and they just hang up. And they hang up for a good while, but they just keep gobbling. So eventually I decide that I'm just going to answer them one time. So they gobble on their own. I answer them one time, quieter than I initially called because I didn't want to, you know, sound like I was really close or coming to them. 
So these birds start coming my way a little bit and I, I give out one more call, kind of direct it behind me so it makes it sound like I'm a little bit farther away from them. And here they come and just, just barely crest the top of this hill. So these two birds get to the crest of this hill and just put on a show for a few minutes. I believe this is really where a decoy would have helped me. They kind of hung up at the top of this hill when they didn't see anything. They were gobbling and strutting and putting on a show though. And you know, I, I could have brought a decoy and they could have still hung up, but I think a decoy would have really helped me out in that situation. They, they just got to the top of that hill and didn't see anything and just lost interest and moved on back away from me. So uh, didn't quite seal the deal, but they did put on a pretty good show. So it was, a, it was a still a good hunt in my book. So that brought our opening weekend to a close. We had a few good hunts and those first two birds come in pretty close that we just, we just couldn't quite settle the deal on and those last two hung up like they do sometimes. And you know, you just never know what these birds are gonna do sometimes. And just when you just when you think you got the birds figured out, they always find a way to humble you. So so we, we were back at it. We got some birds on the ground this year and uh, got some more videos coming out for y'all with the kills and stuff. And, I was really hoping to get some good video this year and I was able to lay some pretty good stuff down with the camera this year. And you always want to get a bird in close and on the ground, but I was happy to, happy with the video I got and I was able to get a bird down as well. So like I said, those videos will be coming out in the coming weeks and uh, I'm just glad to be back with some videos for y'all. I want to thank y'all for watching and uh, if you will, head on over to Patterson Outdoors on Instagram. Give us a follow and stay tuned for the coming videos. Thank y'all for watching again and we'll see you on the next one.